Aquarius, hi! I'm doing a love reading now. This is for Sun, Moon and Rising Aquarius. If you are returning to the channel, welcome back. If you are new, welcome and thank you for stopping by. Coral Tree Tarot here. These are timeless and general love tarot readings. So only take what resonates and let's jump right into it. And begin with these messages. What's happening for Aquarius, please, Spirit? Show me which message is relevant, which one is meant for Aquarius. So before I open your tarot, in between, not single yet, and now. All right, you could have met someone who's right, right, you know, about to sort of move out and really close door to one connection, but they are not single yet. They are still, still there still connected to that person. But when I wrote this, I meant this person made a decision to, to leave that, uh, that their connection. But they are not single yet. But the decision about leaving the connection has was made before this person met you. So this is what I want to, be, to uh, make clear. We've got no here as well. Okay, let's see um, what's happening here. Aquarius. In between. This person is in between. Someone is in an in-between situation. They met someone new, but they are still not single, still not available. Aquarius. What's going on? Eight of Wands. There is some communication going on. Three of Wands in the past. Six of Swords in the future. And Seven of Swords as the overall energy. Okay, so I feel these people are communicating together. Um, despite the fact that this person hasn't sort of finalized that, that you know, situation they were in. Not single yet, okay? So they may be still living together. That type of scenario. So I feel, despite the fact... There is communication going on between these two people. Or this person really wants to communicate with you. Um, this could be your energy that I'm reading or the person that you're asking about. So I'll stick to that scenario where this is someone you are thinking about. So this person would love to communicate. Very likely they are sending messages. That's why you have the Seven of Swords because, you know, they are not yet single. They are not yet available. Um... Yeah, they've been really wanting to connect with you, really wanting to communicate. You know, the Eight of Wands and the Three of Wands in the past. They've been really wanting and waiting to be able to, to talk to you freely, communicate. Tell me more about the Eight of Wands. What is it? This is really like, I want to I wanna talk to you. How are you? Look at that. There's so, there's a lot of fire here. Um... Okay, Earth 2, Virgo. This person is very attracted to you. Um, I like this combination, the um, Hermit and this per Prince of Pentacles. In, this is Knight of Pentacles. And, um, I like it because this is, this is a very solid energy, this person. So this, the, despite the fact that I like these two energy. They make me feel positive about the person. Um, they are very excited. They are very, very attracted. This is definitely a new situation developing here. Ace of Wands. This person, you know, has some sort of like insight that you know, this is it, like, um, that new situation between you and them, although they haven't yet cl completely finalized their, their situation, it really makes me feel like they, they feel very, um, not only excited, but they look at it. I'm getting, like, long term, because this is the slowest night in, in the deck the knight of pentacles but despite the fact that you could say well why do you engage in a connection if you are not single yet and you're not available well 
I am getting good energies here, good good things out of these two because this is a very mature outlook. There's a lot of experience and there's a lot of kind of like thoughtful energy. Um, this, despite the fact that this person is really like, I want to talk to you. I, I really would love to be able to see you again. Or there is this very um, electric, I'm getting this electric uh, uh, sort of feeling. But there is also this energy, which is fantastic. It's so grounded, solid, calm. And I'm getting kind of like, this person does have long-term outlook here. Okay. Aquarius, the Seven of Swords here, I don't know if you can see this if I push it away here on my table, but it's, I need to see everything here. Yeah, I do believe you are communicating definitely already. This communication is kind of hidden. It's not yet like this connection may not yet be, um, as I said, it's not only communication that's going on. I'm actually getting more. Um, I do like the Six of Swords because it's like, let's move to a calmer waters. Let's do it properly. That's the direction. Look at these legs. It's like he's pointing to the direction. And here is the healing sign that we see in um, t uh, Two of Cups often. Let's just heal things. Let's just move from A to B. From meaning if someone is in between, they really want to finalize this and move on so that they can clearly start this this new exciting um relationship with you or you want that with someone six of swords four of cups someone's gonna be like no oh, decision about do i want it do i want it am i prepared for this tower yeah i feel this this person will you know, is, is still dealing with that uh, uh, own relationship. Four of Cups, they making decision about that breakup to finalize it so that they are available again. This is that person. But I like it. I love the Six of Swords and I love that healing um, energy. It makes me feel very positive about intentions um, that this person has. They, 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 there is some sort of clarity. I know that there is no ace of sorts here, but it's this clarity that, you know, okay, I, I, I met you when I was unavailable, but I, I, I want to finalize this process so that now we can freely communicate, get to know each other, start seeing each other. So I would expect that in the future, um, this person is going to be very busy because they'll be, they'll be dealing with, with finalizing that situation they were in. Um, what's that now? You know, the Four of Cups, it's making me feel that this person may be quite emotionally, like, numb. And this definitely will affect the situation with you. So that's what I'm saying. The, the overall energy going into the future, it's pointing to a very positive way of how this can potentially develop. But for the time being, this person's going to be sucked in to finalize that situation. And I don't think much will be happening. Now, I want to pull... Um, I want to pull a little bit here. I want to pull something. I need a full deck here. I want to know more what this is because I'm not seeing here what this no is because this is making me feel positive that six of sorts 
What is this no for um, Aquarius? The situation is someone who's not yet available, but they are interested in someone new. Um, don't be busy going through a breakup. What's that no though? What's this no? The chariot. I feel if you are expecting, you know, a, a fast progression in this situation, that is the no. It's not gonna go fast. It's not, you won't be able to see this person um, soon. Like they, they, this person will be dealing with that breakup. And also this Four of Cups here, that there is some sort of momentum. So in terms of what's this meaning, don't expect a fast progressing, fast progressing situation. Is it only progress or is it overall success of the situation? It's a progress. Knight of Cups. It's not any progress. I feel this overall success of the situation. You're Aquarius. I've got a, I've got a um, Emperor here and then Eight of Cups. Um, I'm gonna add. I'm sorry, but oh, I feel it's not only about the progress. It's also about the overall success. This is Six of Swords. This is beautiful. And I don't, I don't think that this person has any malicious intentions. They want to move on and they will be busy. They are communicating with you and they are very excited about it. But for the time being in the future, um, they'll be busy. Now this, I clarified so that I know what this no really refers to. And I really feel that in the uh, larger time time frame um, this situation someone's gonna leave that so either this person's gonna walk away from it or you will because we have the fate of cups and I kind of feel that this person will because of the chariot as the first energy here and it is not because they don't love you this is because it's not meant to be Okay, so that means it's not the right fit for you, or you are not the right fit for someone, okay? I'm sorry to be breaking this, and, and, and I really want to point out that there is no maliciousness here, although we have Seven of Swords. I think it's only to do with the communication. Um, so the person that's in the relationship will be busy, be easy. The Tower and Four of Cups, that's breakup. And that's also emotional state that they might need to get out of. This also points to, you know, you can't engage in love where you are in this phase, okay? So I kind of see protection here for whoever is hoping that this will work out, that perhaps it's not a right moment perhaps it's not the right fit as well in terms of progress and overall success i feel someone's gonna leave that situation and it's a no that's why we gotta know if you are asking is this a long term that's a that's a no either you're gonna leave that or they will i'm sorry but i don't sugarcoat you know um that's that's the way i read tarot let's I am curious what some of the oracles will have to say here. Aquarius. Girl talk. Time with friends, moving on. Happily single. Living in the moment, having fun. I feel someone should use the network they have available to them, friends, family, to just talk and gain a bit perspective on this situation. Um, and yeah, moving on, someone is going to definitely, in a longer scheme, I mean, I, I, I would say, if you're asking if this is going to be your husband-wife, then this is a no. 
because of the um, emperor here. Closed gate. Oh my, I've got goosebumps. Wow. Fate has closed the gate. No more to return. Okay, this is a clear message. This situation doesn't have future. This is quite incredible for me also as a reader to get such clear messages. Uh, and I am sorry that they are not, you know, positive. Um, but yeah, I, I am connecting with some energies there. Lilith, Taboo, Taurus, Tent House Status. Let's begin with Lilith. This is that shadow side in astrology. Um, I'll put it this way. What I'm getting, this oracle is called Taboo. But what I'm getting is that someone here is being drawn to drama. And I want this to, I want someone to hear it. If your first instinct is telling you that something isn't right, this is a message for you. Don't get into it because it will be drama. M remove yourself from the situation. This is the dark side of us. Lilith, it's, you know, it's a bit more about sex and intensity and, and secrets. But I read Lilith as the shadow. And I feel someone's not realizing that they are being drawn to situations that are complex. Um, you could be dealing with Taurus as well. Tent house, VAP, VIP um, access status. I have to admit, um, I'm not getting much with this. Perhaps you met through profession, through work. Perhaps you work together. Perhaps you um, work in the same industry, okay? Um, this is the only thing that kind of comes through. Aquarius. Thank you for your energy and thank you for your time. I'm sorry that I'm delivering these messages. I will post it because um, I know not all the messages can be lovey-dovey. Uh, uh, um, I don't like to do hopium type of thing for anyone. If there is someone that needs to hear it to find a, kind of use it as a guidance in their situation that may resonate, and just feel sort of reassured that okay, I'm, I'm getting these these type of you know feelings about the situation. Then then I'm gonna post it. Someone might need to hear it. All the very best if if um, you are at the tail end of the situation. You are the one that you know may experience this person's gonna walk away altogether because they'll be busy and perhaps emotionally not in a position to to um, emotionally uh, uh, be available and I would use it as a sign that is a protection for you so you don't get hurt because if someone is emotionally unavailable they can't love you they can't care for you they can't have fun and enjoy because they have some stuff that they need to work through Aquarius all the very best from me and I hope someone new is going to come in I might do um just a section next time a new person coming in for specifically single people and we'll see how this plays out um, for you as well all the very best Aquarius and I will speak to you soon that's all that I have for you today goodbye for now